Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in 3ds Max for beginners. I am architect Sonorai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial I am going to continue with some more settings in edit geometry in edit polygon. So if you have missed my previous tutorial you can go to my playlist and watch it and please like share and subscribe my channel. So I am going to draw a box. I will go to my full perspective mode here first and I will select a box and I will draw a box here now we'll go to default setting here and we'll select edged faces and we'll go to modifier list and then can increase or decrease the length segment here and width segment also can make some segments here and height segment also will make some segments so now I'm going to convert this to editable poly and you can go to this selection tools and you can select any tool and I'm going to select polygon here and now we'll go to some tools here like M smooth and we'll discuss further and in the previous tutorial we have discussed about this quick slice cut and now today we'll discuss about M smooth and this tessellate and make planner view align grid align relax hide selected and hide all so now I'm going to select M smooth. So I want to uh, make some part of this box in smooth. So I'm going to select some polygon here. And suppose I'm going to select this corner here and I want to make this smooth. So I'm going to select this all um, this all polygon here and I want to make this smooth. So I'm going to select M smooth and you can check this box and you can see this part is smooth here you can view this and you can see some polygons are also selected in uh, back side so you can select this setting here ignore back facing so it will be not selected so now you can see this smoothness level here so maximum is one here and you can also decrease the smoothness level you can go to 0 till 1 and this one is separate by smoothing groups so you can select this by smoothing groups and this one is separate by material id so you can select material id here and then you can finish this so this is the setting of m smooth now this is the Tessellate so it will create a edge in any polygon. So suppose I'm going to select this one and I'm going to select Tessellate and I'm going to select this box here and you can see this edge is created here like in uh, diagonally uh, in all the corners are equally divided here and you can also select this box here and you can select by edge or face so i'm going to select now the by face so you can see this is diagonally separated here this edged and if you'll select this arrow and go to edge it will be like an edge equally divided here and this one is tension level so we can create this like some levels you can give and then you can finish this so this is the use of tessellate now this one is make planner so it will make any surface planner it will convert to in x y plane and z plane so now i'm going to select this some parts here and i'm going to select this one make planner and you can see this part is converted to some planes here and you can make x plane y plane here and you can make z plane also so it, it requires uh, good uh, technical skills and if you will go to advanced modeling you can utilize these settings make planner and it will make any surface planner in x direction y direction and z direction and you can also select this tool view align so it will align all the view object selected here and you can also grid align and it will select 
it will align to any grid so this is our viewport grid you can see this has aligned to this one so if i will show you some another example here and if i am going to draw a box here and i will convert this to editable poly here and if i am going to move this uh, below this viewport uh, above this viewport and to some level in some height you can see this and now i am going to select the this setting here grid align so you can see this this has aligned this to this grid here so this is the use of grid align and now I'm going to select this one and now this one is relaxed so it will relax any surface here it will start deducting the surface so I will delete this and I will show you some another example here so I am going to draw another box here and I will right click here and convert to editable poly and then we'll go to select a polygon here so i'm going to select any polygon or i'm going to select an element this time and we'll go to select this relax here and i'm going to select this and you can see this has start relaxing this and this one is amount how much amount you want to relax so you can go to maximum one in this case and you can reduce this also so it will uh, go to negative values and it will project outwards so you can make this as a relaxing mode and then you can select this one iterations level so it will iterate to our outsides and if you go to reduce to one it will be like this one and also if you go to positive it will like a smooth surface here and then also you can start this iteration if you go higher values it will be more uh, relaxed and it will this space will be detected and if you go to negative here so this you can go to one and you can see this is changing and this one is relax hold boundary points so we can relax use this tool also and this one is relax hold outer points so you can if you check this it will be like this and then you can finish this so this is the use of relaxed here and this one is hide selected so if you want to hide this polygon you can select hide selected you will be hide and you can unhide it from here also and you can then you can select this hide unselected so uh, it will i will show you how you can do this so i am going to hide this and now hide unselected so it will be hide unselected element so it is not much use you can use this hide selected and hide all you can also hide and hide from right clicking in viewport and you can use this hide selection so if you will select any surface suppose i want to hide this one and i will go to uh, my viewport and i will right click by selecting object and then i will select hide selection so it will be hide so you can use in the both settings so if i will go to edit geometry here editable poly and then this settings you can do i am going to select polygon so you can see this this is the relax hide selected and hide all so we have almost learned all the tools here so this was the tutorial for the today session in the next video tutorial i will come with some more modeling tutorials in 3ds max so please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye